Hi everybody, Casey Zander here, and rest assured I promise you that today I'm going to be delivering on the title. What's the title? Well, the title is the only video on hypergamy that you will ever need. Now I know that that might sound like a big claim, but the longer I've been coaching, the longer I've been in this niche, the longer I've been in this industry, the more well-versed and deeper I can actually go in the nuances of these topics. So stay with me end to end because rest assured, I don't think I have ever seen a video on the internet before that covers this topic, this in depth in the way that I'm going to frame it. So that way you can totally become full stack in who you are and level yourself up to the degrees that I know that you actually want to. So with that said, let's dive in. Okay. Before I do that though, quick announcement, these hats, right? For the past couple of days, you've probably seen me talk about the merch that I'm coming out with. I've never done an official merchandise drop for my brand before. There's going to be various hats, a couple different shirts. I recommend marking your calendars because July 1st is when all of this comes out and I have very limited supply because I don't know how this is going to do yet, but I am excited. Now on topic, hypergamy. Okay, everybody has heard this word. What does the word mean? Well, essentially, right, the companions that you are trying to see, they want the best bang for their buck, right? This is why the, the masculine self-improvement is so important, right? Because we know that you want to make yourself a, a man of value. So what I need to do in order to truly hammer this point home is we have to discuss what is a real alpha versus a social alpha. Okay, and how you can have a combination of both of these. So the very first piece we have to look at is like a real world alpha, like a, a strong dude who has done the work. So when you think of this, I want you to think of the work that probably takes years to achieve. Okay, so what would this be? Well, number one, obviously, we know one of the biggest attraction cues is going to be things like status. Okay, what comes with status? Well, typically fame. This can be famous in Hollywood. This can be famous on Instagram. This could be, maybe you're the top real estate agent in your city and your face is on every billboard. I don't care what it is. There is some sort of social recognition here. Now here's why this is extremely important. This right here shows masculine competence, right? Because typically a guy doesn't obtain that status or that fame just by accident. He does it by being a beast in a specific industry, or he does it by being a beast at, at, at like he's known for something. Okay. Being known for something typically comes with money and provisioning. Now, when we look at the need, okay, side of hypergamy, when it comes to survival, how well it looks like you could provide for future offspring, how good of a bet you would be for the long term, this is a box that is typically checked by guys who have acquired fame or status in some sort of specific industry or niche. The deeper part to this too, that I want to talk about is looking masculine, right? The masculine look or the masculine archetype. So for those of you who maybe you're into lifting weights, you're into dieting, right? You're trying to build the broad shoulders and the V taper. Okay. You're trying to improve your six pack. You're trying to have a more squared off jawline by dieting correctly and losing body fat. I don't care what it is. The more you have your look together, the more, it, the more this is just a physical, like raw visceral attraction cue. Another reason why this can be so attractive is from a long-term perspective is because people know that to have a good body typically takes years. Okay. It takes years of dedication. It takes years of sacrifice. This also shows a strong virtue of hard work and dedication. Okay. And then the last two I want to talk about is recognition and being well known. If you walk into a bar or you walk into a restaurant or you, you are in any place and people point at you or people whisper to their friends about you or people know you. Okay. This is going to be a real world alpha. Think about it. You look the part, you have status, you have provisioning, you probably have some cash, you're known. Okay. This is important. But there is a whole separate side of the equation to this that is not yet talked about. When typically people talk about like monkey branching or the companion that they were into went to a different guy, they typically focus on this side of the equation. This is important and this takes years to master, but there's a whole separate side to this. Okay. The separate side to this is going to be the social alpha. And what this is, is this is correct game. Okay. 
the, the ability to have verbal communication that shows that not only are you competent, but you're at the cause of other people's emotions and you can truly have a commanding presence. This is what's missing for most guys. Most guys understand, like, when you look at the masculine look of the archetype, most guys have no problem taking three years and going underneath the barbell and getting bigger. Most guys have no problem buckling down for five years and building their business and making more money. This is the easy stuff. Like it's easy to wake up and do the exact same thing every day. You know what's hard? What's hard is speaking correctly when there's another person on the other side of the equation. This is one dimensional. You can control yourself and your success. This is two dimensional. Not only do you have to control what it is that you're saying, but now you have to calibrate what you're saying simultaneously to gauge the response from the person that you're talking to. This is double complex, okay? This is what's missing for a lot of guys. Here's why it's missing. Guys oftentimes think that because they've done this, they convey that. But the problem is that most, most, most of the time, you can't convey that, that you've done any work just by walking into a place. So how do you do that? You have to have social awareness. You can be 6% body fat with a V taper, but guess what? If you don't know how to have a dominant social presence, you're not going to get the results you're wanting in your dating life. You can make $10 million in profit a year. If you don't know how to have a commanding presence socially or to the group that you're talking to, you are not going to have the results you're looking for. Today, I am making this video to teach and to educate you on how to be a social alpha. How do you do this? Well, let's look, okay? Number one, a social alpha makes their presence known. You can do this at any height, any age, any income bracket, it doesn't matter. You will notice guys who do really well with meeting people, okay, instantly they're constantly, their, their tone of their voice is a little bit louder, right? They typically have a smirk or a smile on their face and what they're doing is they're engaging other people. They're maybe shaking other people's hands, they're introducing themselves, they're basically making their presence known. And what they're doing, or what they can do, or what they know how to do is control the frame of the room. Think about that. Maybe you've seen some of this. Maybe you've even been to, let's say, a college fraternity party. All right, and maybe there's just like one guy, he doesn't really have his life together, but for whatever reason, he's very socially confident. And you'll notice he pulls and get he gets much more results than you maybe, or maybe than other people, and he's just known for doing that. The reason is because he can engage the group. How do you engage the group? Well, what you do is you have a series of frames and verbal plays that cause emotional reactions out of other people. So what does that mean? This means that if you're a social alpha, you are at the cause of other people's emotions, you are not at the effect. Instead of waiting for somebody to engage you, you are now engaging the group. You are taking your presence, you're taking your verbals, you are putting it out there, you're making your presence known, and you're showing that you're not scared to do so. A lot of you know this too when I talk about it, but this is the biggest thing that's neglected. Guys will go out on a Saturday night, they make great money, they look great, right? But the problem is, is they go home and they haven't talked to anybody new. The thing is, is they don't understand the social calibration to make their presence known to show high value or perceived high value to the group. Here's how you can do this. Ways that I've always enjoyed doing this is things like dares or bets. I dare you to do this. I bet that you can't do this. If you get yes commitment, the more yes commitment you get from somebody, the more they are in your frame. Okay. If you say, Hey, I bet you that you can't hit a bullseye by throwing that dart, right? And if you do, I'll buy, I'll buy everybody around. If you said that and they're like, oh man, now, now everybody, now the whole group is all of a sudden in your frame trying to hit that bullseye. That right there is an example, okay? If you dare somebody to do something and they smile and they take you up on that dare, they're entering into your frame, okay? This is basic teasing and giving basic emotional spikes. If you're new to this, if you're new to speaking this way, I recommend taking the easy ways of just picking these two, right? Dares or bets, teasing, small little wins where you can go home at the end of a Friday or Saturday night and you can smile because you know that you made new attempts socially to convey more social value. Okay, conveying social value is just as important or even more important than having real world value due to the fact that it's all people see and it's all people can feel, right? This stuff is going to happen and going to come out when they get to know you. This stuff is first impression and first impressions everything, okay? People only know what you put in front of them. Always remember that. So both are needed. 
Okay, so for example, I've consistently told guys you have to be full stack. You have to be full stack in who you are, full stack in business, right? For those of you who have also seen my Xander Consulting business page, I recommend going down and subscribing to that, right? Over the years as I built this channel, for example, I've been teaching social calibration, I've been teaching how to level up within your relationships, right? I actually pull back the curtain in this channel and I show you specifically how I grew this company. I highly recommend checking that out. But when you're a full stack one percenter, okay, when you're a full stack person, it shows that you're well versed. You have both sides of this equation completely dialed in and it shows that you can actually get what you want. That's one of the things that I think not many people talk about enough is like actually getting what you want. Getting what you want is more or less about the calibration of how you do it. It's not just being, it's not, it's not all anger and fire and brimstone and full of grit, right? It's being able to read people and engage people. And that's a skill in and of itself. And in order to get what you deserve, you truly have to come at this with the mindset that you're entitled to your own success. If you have success over here, Make sure you're entitled mentally to try and get success over here or vice versa. Both of these are so key. Now, you might be wondering, okay, this video made a lot of sense. You might see that you need both sides of the equation and you might be wondering how you can even go deeper within this topic. Well, for the past couple of weeks, I've shown you guys how we started with 300 seats left inside the masculinity blueprint. We have now boiled that down to less than 190. I'll put a screenshot of exactly how many we have left, but when we hit 2000 members in this at quarter two, I'm closing down enrollment. So if I've been able to enroll 150 people this quick, I can't express to you how fast a channel like this will actually close out enrollment when it gets to 2000 for the masculinity blueprint accelerator. I recommend taking me up on that due to the fact that it will provide you so much value to go as deep into these topics as I can. So that way you have success with these areas for the rest of your life that pay dividends for you in your twenties, your thirties, your forties, your fifties, and it will craft you into the person that I know that you want to be. That's number one. Number two, if you're looking for more of a one to one touch, how do you get direct access to me beyond that program? I recommend booking a call with my brother Cole. Cole will screen your application on that interview. He will see if you're a fit. If you're a fit, he's going to show you exactly how you can move forward with me. So guys, hit the like button, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.